can you tell the Lord oh that I may just touch you that I might touch the hem of your garment that I might enter into your holy place that I might see you face to face I want to see you I want to touch you in enough of this superficiality I'm tired of superficiality I just I want to be with you for once I want to hold you I want to love you I just need you Lord my soul cries out for you Rebosente ikakalebost Mande yekelebose kentaraba Mande rekuri abahantaya Principality and power that will not let you be, that will not let you become. Tonight, from the throne of grace on high, let fire fall and scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nache Dagazuru. Chiata, don't be Chiata, some of your lives are hidden tonight God is going to find them and change them around for you I said God is going to turn around your life for eternity do you really know what the meaning of Peniel is you will have declared 30 days fast before today to wait for today and tonight you will have come empty and open release and open I declare from now new seasons are declared over your life anything that stands against your seasons they shall die from now henceforth I say new seasons are declared upon your life anything that stands against your seasons judgment will fall from heaven away from your home your house your family your business whatever represents your life tonight in the name of Jesus I suspend them before the throne of grace and I release the power of God to visit them in the name of Jesus Christ I didn't hear somebody shout amen Sujada Mokazo Sujada Mokazo 
Listen, there is somebody here. The devil has taken over your issues and dragged them into places where nobody can see. Beneath the seas. And from there, has been shooting arrows and remote controlling and People have been looking for the source of that problem and have not found it. Tonight, the yoke upon your life is broken. Tonight, that problem is solved in the name of Jesus. I release you from those bondages. Begin to receive your liberty now. I say no. Somebody shout no. In the name of Jesus, can you wave your hands and shout, Amen? seats if you can please thank you very much of course the only person who does not take his seat is the one standing with me there and the father in heaven <laughs> listen tonight I told you you don't know the meaning of Penel Penel is not just the face of God that you already know you must have prayed over it for many days Ah, so how the two of you stand up? Come here, madam. Come, 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 come quickly. Listen, Peniel means the separation of seasons, whether you like it or not. You see, I didn't ask for their permission, I rudely disrupted them, disrupted their stability and flow push them aside and move through today God is going to disrupt your life no 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 listen Peniel is not an event Peniel is an experience Peniel is not a place Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Tonight, Penel will happen to somebody here. Sir, Penel is the breaking of the old season. It's the change. It, it forces out an old. Throws it away from you and releases you to a new. I don't know who saw this vision for Penel, but I raise that altar here tonight. Every member. 
member of this church wherever you go separations will take place the old will disappear the new will come in the name of Jesus now listen Peniel is not just a separation of seasons listen Peniel is the naming of generations he gave that name to symbolize his experience listen it meant the old was not only past but the new that was coming had already been named not the word already been what it's not going to be named before this election took place i told them the matter about this election had already been resolved in heaven intercessions was not going to decide it this year it was too late to intercede where were you last year what intercessions do you did you make last year some of us have been praying for this election for more than one year we made sacrifices in other nations that the umbilical cord that this election in nigeria will become our panel the breaking of a yoke and tonight i insist that that yoke is broken that anything that happens from now henceforth will be our separation of seasons if you believe that shout amen does not only separate seasons it names a generational blessing whatever it does after is generational it's not ordinary it's not a mid-time thing it's not a seasonal thing it's an everlasting thing that follows that means whatever happens after shall become a statue over your life and your family for eternity no man can reverse it stretch out your hands and say lord i receive can you open your mouth and begin to rebuke the past and to call from the new lord tonight i rebuke the past and i command the new to come i call forth my peniel the spirit of peniel to fall upon me hey, hey. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It's enough that Jesus Christ. we just finished the celebration of the Passover and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight I cast the blood of Jesus upon your waters by that blood I command seasons begin to change now I say I prophesy seasons to begin to change now somebody shall change in the name of Jesus somebody shall change in the name of Jesus it is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me while you are here standing can you just tell the father in your presence i shake up the past i just shake it up do something shake up something a prophetic moment is going on now a prophetic season is coming upon the church where the old is cut off 
Danilo! Para Curia Bahanta, Yakere Boshe, Manda Baba 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 I decree tonight that which you'll be struggling with is over. I command the reconstruction of your life now. I command the repair of your destiny now. I command the restoration of your glory. Receive back your crowns in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, it's my season of change. I therefore release you to that season. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Please sit down if you can. Listen tonight. I'm sorry you forgive me. I have not followed all the protocols, but Baba, you know, I thank you for visiting, for, for, for inviting me. You see, I use the word visiting me because he also sent me a visitation. I, I was forced to go back. Home. I said, God, these people don't know what they are asking for. Eh? They want to see your face. They want your face to come down. Ordinary human beings asking for your face to come to a whole church. Do they know the implication of the revolution the multiplicating effect the chain effect that will begin to vibrate not only in their houses but in the city and in the church today I release that power to begin to speak that voice in that face let it meet with you tonight. And that is why tonight I'm going to give you an assignment from the beginning. When you get home, and those of you who are not here and watching, and you say, I can watch by television, and you are in Port Harcourt or wherever you are, and you belong to this region, run here. These two days, eh, come to Penel. Come to the face of the Lord. Come to Penel. Penel is not a place. Penel is a meeting with God. It's an experience. Shekan Taraba. Listen to me. I don't care what it is. The Lord is going to separate you from that thing that needs to be separated. Peniel, number three. You know, I've given you two divinations without telling you they are divinations. Number three. Peniel is the casting of new mantles and the opening of new destinies. You will find all these three in Jacob. Jacob sang a new song. Jacob never told a lie again. Jacob never stole from anybody again. After Peniel, after Genesis 32, I want to take it for granted you know where it is. Did you hear what I said? Jacob, 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 never. Can you leave the sales of those books for a moment? Eh? If they don't get sold, I don't worry. I didn't come to sell books. I don't sell myself. Did you hear what I said? I'm not worth buying. But what I teach you tonight is what selling treasures for. To get to understand and enter into. What the Lord has commanded me to say in these three days. Ah! 
There was a time in Port Harcourt, those early days, when a serious revival service like this, conference, retreat, withdrawal like this, will cause a shakening in the whole city. It will be noised everywhere. Tonight, I command that every kind of leprosy you have disappear. Spiritual and physical. Let your bones begin to hear the sound of the voice of the Lord. Let there be liberty inside your heart now. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Why? Because this is Peniel. The Lord is not controlled by men. He does his thing when the service is going on. He does it when it is not going on. He just does it. That is Peniel. He ambushes you when you are not expecting it. And he meets with you. He didn't apply to be met. He didn't intercede to be met. He was met. You didn't know what you came for here. God himself is going to ambush you. Ambush your problems. Ambush your blessings. He will make them do what they never wanted to do before. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I'm trying by God's grace to define what cannot be defined but give you a picture of this thing that we are attempting to enter into that once you open that door you cannot control it I cannot control God he's turned me into a madman people call me mad people laugh at me people say the guy contradicts he's all kind of a confusion <laughs> I hear the confusion is changing seasons, turning around lives, saving souls for eternity. I like that confusion. It's keeping me safe. I come from the north where I'm hunted every other day. My name is number one on the list. I can't behave like other people. It takes madness to stop madness. It takes the foolishness of God to rewind the wisdom of men. To reverse it. To scatter it. The opposite always has an effect. On the positive. If I were a normal man. I would have been dead long time ago. So forgive me. When we meet in heaven. The one who called me. Will tell you why he made me a madman. He has a purpose in everything though. Oh he has a reason. David's madness had a reason. And his sanity had a reason. There was a season for everything. Kunzo Gareni Dukanku Kumasunawin Kai Ne Ma Imba Come unto me all ye that labor And are heavy laden That's the song And I He, he that dwelleth in eternity I will give you rest Say it my lover I'm saying what the song says It ends with say it my lover my soina, my lover. It's that love that ties us together. Listen, tonight you are about to activate a presence of the Lord that will never leave you and will never leave your enemies alone. It's an interesting thing. He never leaves you. He never leaves your enemies alone. If he left them alone, you will not be. Hmm? That is the kind of thing that happened to Jacob. The kind of whatever he met that day, by whatever name you want to call him, 
He refused to call him one of the names Abraham and others have been calling him. Instead, he named the place where heaven is. The face of God. That means anybody who seeks God's face and enters there. Uh, now, two things. Because we have three days, so I don't need to preach for eternity. Two things, listen. Within three days, two things, major things, happened to Jacob. When you start reading that Genesis 32 from 1 to the end, you will see there within two days, three days, three nights, you will notice that Jacob named places twice within two days. I don't know that you have it on your screen. Genesis 32 verse 1. When he stepped out from the place of yoke, from the place of labor, where he was forced to cheat to survive, because the person himself was a cheat, where he was forced by his circumstances to become a slave, as some of you have been forced by your circumstances to become slaves to lies and deceit, and you are still born again, in quote. You still, and you come here, sometimes you pay tight to calm down your spirit, or you buy up things here to slow down, like somebody I used to know, I won't tell you from which church, he stole a lot, but he built churches, bought pianos and places. What they didn't know was that in the midst of those riches, he had a second wife in London, in the UK. He had one here. The one here was barren for many years. I don't know what are the secrets that are keeping you dry and barren. Maybe this one didn't even know why she was buying. That the unclean altar in the house was part of the blockade. Today, God will find the complexity of your life. And he will release you from that bondage. I release the fire of God to burn down that witchcraft. Whether you are guilty or not, receive your visitation in Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody wave and shout, Amen. Amen. Of course, I was always staying in the Sheraton in those days. Sheraton was the most beautiful, biggest hotel in Abuja. When I come from my village, the British prophet. The kings of that time, Jeremiah, Husseini, and the rest of them, they owned the Sheraton. It was a federal government thing. I had a permanent room there. So they put me there free of charge. I didn't need to pay for hotels. Then this brother comes, breaks protocol, and says, please, I have a beautiful house, nobody stays, come and sleep there. And I thought it was the kindness of his heart. I already knew him before. And I knew he was successful in, in, at the federal level. And he begged me, please honor us. I said, me? What do you see for my body when they say, make I honor you? I'm just a villager who comes here and hides in a hotel and goes back home. He says, sir, even if it's one night, I didn't know what was happening. So I foolishly asked the Lord, not the word foolishly, if I knew what God was setting me up. Most times God sets me up. I just get caught up in the wave, the after effect. And I cannot run away. I stay like that. The Adeboe just put himself in trouble. Fortunately or unfortunately, eh, he laid hands on me, so the anointing is following me also. We, we get into trouble easily. He was preaching in a context. Note the word 
context. One prayer item caused commotion in the whole of Nigeria. If you read the context, it can be interpreted many ways. Now, even redeemers don't know whether to condemn him or to applaud him. You have to keep a pretentious face. Because you want to go with the mainstream. Uh, like a former federal minister of information who visited me on my way here just before I came here in Abuja. He caught up with me in Abuja to greet with me. He said, he said Daddy, there is an age you reach. Eh? You don't think of what the people say anymore. You say what you must say for the future to open up. If you understand that, you will understand what happened. I won't say more than that. 